Hi everyone, hi everyone, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the career session. Sorry. How are you all doing? How's your day so far? How are you guys doing? So as we wait for the rest to join in, you can just drop in in the chat how you're doing with an emoji or just anything. How's the weather on your region? <laughs> How is it looking? From my end, it's very cold. It's been cold for a while in Nairobi, Kenya. Which country is on summer right now in Africa? I'd love to go to Tunis, Kenneth, because this cold it is finishing me. It will finish me. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I hope you all doing great. Welcome to this session. Uh, session is going to last on hour, like from 10.30 to 11.30 this evening. I hope you all you are having a great day. Morgan, are you there? So you can just share your screen and let's get started. Yes, 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 yes. So we're going to begin. So we're at 23. So we'll just begin. Let me share my screen. Before, uh, she, before she starts, I want to know how you're getting along with the past exercise. I hope you're making progress. Uh, with the signification of I raising your hand, I want to know if you're finding the exercise easy. You, am I audible enough or you can't hear me? Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, how was the last exercise like? 
you know the submission deadline is on Friday, so I'd like to know how you're doing, how the exercise coming along. So signify if, if, if the exercise is going well. Okay, so we're about to hit 30. Uh, I think the number is good. We can begin now. So for those who have not met me yet, my name is Maureen. I'm your career's tutor. We also have Sadiq, my colleague. He's the one who's been talking. And basically we're just here to, aside from the technical, um, exercises and training that you are doing we just want to ensure that you guys transition well after this training into good jobs or into good careers you know when you join in you are prepared well in the sense that of course your cv is good of course you can be able to communicate well and express yourself well of course you can be able to engage with uh, people from the organization you'll be joining in, you know, because at the end of the day, you might have the technical skills, but how do you put them across, you know? If you are able to fix something and you don't know how to explain it or express yourself, then that's not good. So also having soft skills is a major requirement, especially today. If you are looking to work remotely, you know, it means that you'll be working alone in your home or in your own space. So you'll be required to um, <clears throat> be checking in with people, you know, having that communication. So careers um, exercise basically is just to help you um, curve your skills on that side. So let me begin. Uh, our exercise for this week is becoming a peer mentor. And peer mentoring basically is a type of helping, helping relationship between two people or a group with equal status. This could be career-wise or school or whichever level and particular domain that you share. It is mutual. And it's important to have such relationships because you're able to gauge each other. For example, you are in this uh, training and having someone to just um, reach out to, having, uh, get, having someone to, to talk to and just like a friend, someone to, you can keep tabs with during the entire training. Um, if you if you are not understanding something, if you need um, clarity on something, and you feel like you don't want to talk to maybe other people, and so you can be get someone that you are more comfortable with that you can speak to and just share with, um, and it's important to have such a person because with this peer mentoring, you you'll find that you become more creative uh, in finding uh, long-term solutions. For example, if you're having a problem, if you get a peer partner, you can be able to actually just find a solution together instead of keep on asking some other people, reaching out to maybe even your, your tutors. You can be able to solve whatever problem that you have. So it creates a creative mindset and innovative mindset, you know? And also you become confident, you become more resilient, you, you, you grow a great mindset, if you guys understand what I mean. A great mindset is uh, you, ha you are having a growth mindset. You're able to, to go through whatever it is that is hard, you know, you become resilient. And also it is a great way of supporting each other, especially if um, if you are new to such uh, an experience, if it's your first time, 
um, doing such a training, it's remote, it's a technical training. So if it's your first time getting someone to just help you go through, this is important. Care mentoring is sexually important and it's awesome. So um, you are also required Will you become a peer mentor? Um, it is important to know how you will be able to give out your best, you know. Um, peer mentoring doesn't necessarily mean that you're just uh, someone who supports. It's a two-way relationship and it requires both of you to be productive, to give in, you know. So being a good mentor is basically uh, being someone who can offer constructive criticism. This is criticism that is positive, of course. If someone has done something wrong and you don't agree with, you just don't dismiss them or you tell them what you're doing is not right, you know. Um, you can just talk to someone, be empathetic, of course. Tell them that um, what you're doing is great, but it would be better if you do such and such. So you go about it in a suggestive way, you know. So um, also being a good mentor means that you give and offer guidance, inspiration, you know. Um, we, are, we all have that five-year plan. We all have that um, what we want to be in the future. So if you get someone that you can share with and you just build each other and you have a focused and healthy communication whereby when you guys are engaging and giving each other feedbacks, it, it should be feedback that is positive. It should be feedback that you want to tear each other down because you're in a competition. No, you're not in a competition. Uh, peer mentoring is basically to ensure that you guys are, are on the same same pace or same page. That that's what I can see. Yeah. Also, because it is a two-way relationship, and it means when someone is a mentor, the other one is a mentee. It uh, being a good mentee also requires you to be someone who is willing to engage and share your needs, you know, you take charge of the responsibility and be able to own your own learning experience. When you're a mentee, it doesn't mean that you just wait for the mentor to just um, tell you everything that you are required to do. When you're a mentee, you should be able to know what you want and you and you say what you want and you share it with your mentor so that you can be on the same page. Yeah. So uh, with that, you will be also required to set goals that are real realistic and also expectations that that will guide you during the entire process of the mentorship. And also being a good mentee is definitely being flexible and open-minded and the willingness to learn. When you're being given criticism by your mentor, you should be able to understand where they're coming from because uh, being a mentee, it's, it definitely means that you will have to be, if you need to be humble, you know, you will need to be able to understand that you, this is someone who is looking out for you. So whatever comment they give you, whatever um, guidance they give you, you should be willing to um, learn what whatever they are trying to tell you the the kind of criticism and also um, when you're a mentee there are certain things that you should be able to understand when you are given access to a mentor you should have boundaries you know if someone um, tells you if you set up a set up a meeting and they tell you you should meet on a certain time, show up, you know. And if you're not able to show up, you should um, speak before and let them know that you're not available. But it's more important because you're the one who is gaining all of this. It's important to show up all the time, you know, and just 
be respectful of your mentor. Yeah. So um, I would also like to give you tips on how to engage in the mentorship relationship. And one of the tips is just being transparent. This basically means that you are an open and honest person. Um, don't don't be mischievous. Don't have um, just be open with whatever expectation, with whatever goals that you wanted to achieve at the end of the mentorship. Just be open because you're the one who's gaining. You know, as a mentee, and be intentional about the relationship. Be present in every conversation. As a mentor, meet up, meetups and discussions. Be thorough with your work. Before you meet, you could just probably um, decide on a topic and you share with each other. And you can also. Um, research on um, the topics so that you can have great questions to ask you know before the topic before the discussion because at the end of the day as a mentor or a, or a mentee this is a two-way so if you don't be pro if you're not productive if you're not willing to give in your all then the you guys will not have a meaningful mentorship you know so and also with the relationship i'd advise if you are getting um to know someone it's good to have set goals that align with, with each other so you guys can discuss for example um what would you want me to help you with or what would you want the other person to help you with so that at the end of relationship you can have a hundred percent transition it won't be 60 40 or you know 35, 65, it's supposed to be a hundred percent. Yeah, so other tips for mentoring session. Um, when somebody, for example, is sharing their story or experience, just show empathy, just understand where they're coming from. You don't have to be so judgmental. Keep your judgmental thoughts to yourself and just be empathetic because everyone has their own story and the reason why you guys are here is because you want to build each other you know and with that i'm sure you don't want somebody to just come and tell you you know what you you're not good with this you cannot be able to do this and yet they don't know where you're coming from so it's important be empathetic be respectful you know when you guys are about to hit uh a beat up don't just go there expecting the other person to be productive on their own. Be willing to engage and show that you are intentional, you know. So uh, mentoring is more of a two-way relationship. It's it's a two-way relationship, especially in this, in this particular um, uh, mentorship because we'll be pairing you guys and you'll be the you'll be two of you so it's a two-way it's a two-way yeah um, and also if you are feeling like you need to uh, continue with the mentorship there's a ways that you can practice um, you can elongate your mentorship uh, for example, if you, with your partner that you're, you're, you've, you've been paired with and you feel like, you know what, I've known you for this time and I feel like this can be a long-term relationship, maybe for another year or two or even a lifetime, depending on how you guys relate with each other. The ways in which you can ensure that this becomes a long-term practice and with that you can you can have uh, set goals that are clear and for example if your goals are just for the training you just want to have someone to be checking upon during the training then that's fine but 
along the training, if you feel like, wow, this is someone that I've met and we're really connecting and I feel like we can be able to take this further, that that's okay, depending on the outcome. If the both of you agree, then that's good. If you're not sure of how you can be able to acquire a long-term relationship, but you want to have one, there are ways that you can go about it. For example, you can just set up questions on your own and then be just before the mentorship begins during the mentorship you can be checking in with the questions that you have set aside and after the mentorship if the questions that you set aside align with what exactly you are looking for in the mentorship then you can go ahead and ask your partner if they would if they would want to continue. Also, I can recommend for you to do a research on your mentor or mentee so that you can have a clear picture of the other person. It makes it easier to build a connection or understanding of your mentor. But it doesn't mean that if you don't um, get them on social media or whatever, it doesn't mean that then you don't know them. First thing first, um when you set up the meeting the questions that you wanted to ask you should go ahead and ask but keep in mind that you not that you should not pry so much into their lives okay i hope that is clear so with this um exercise exercise we have been required uh to, to prepare a few questions so, <clears throat> to ask your peer partner that you have been pair, paired with. There's a list that has been embedded on their careers exercise. So you can just check and see who your peer partner is. So uh, you're basically required to reach out to them. You agree on the time, date, or meetup, schedule, at least one Google Meet session, and of course, use a Google Calendar, you invite them, and you make sure that you're using Google Meet, so, because you'll also be required to do a screenshot of you guys together. Um, there is more um, guidelines to follow on how to go about the exercise, on your on this on this peer mentoring exercise and this exercise is required to be submitted on this date that is on saturday so the other one is due on friday 8 pm utc but for this one we're giving you more time it is until saturday and it's not so hard it's just a one um meetup session it could be 10 minutes or five minutes depending on what you guys discuss then you just do a report a report that is required to be submitted on one pdf format you will we'll, um, upload the links on google class ah, oh, it has already been uploaded so um more guidelines on how to do the report are found in the exercise. Yeah, so it's not an it's not a hard task. It's a very easy task. But so if you have any questions or you need more clarity, so this is the time to raise your hand and just go ahead and ask. Thank you, Hello, thank you, Molly, for the presentation. Uh, that, that was a great talk. Uh, on the Slack channel, your honest, I, I can see your honest and um, ask the question regarding the, regarding, uh, the past exercise. I, your honest, if you are, if you are on this call, can you please signify so I can answer your question?
Hello. Okay. Okay, okay Alan, you want to speak? Yeah, yeah. Can you please, could... yeah, can you please my, ask question? Yeah, as I wrote on the Slack, my question is, uh, the, it's only job related to data engineering, is uh, my first question. And uh, also my uh, second question is, what to mean uh, no link to google.com? And uh, the third question is, what about experience? Because many of the, uh, the job uh, hosted on the LinkedIn or other places uh, require experience, so how we find uh, the job to which fit our experience and uh, mm -hmm. how we find the job uh, which fit our experience because many of the job uh, which related to data injuries uh, ask uh, experience but on the career exercise it uh, ask like uh, the job which fit your uh, experience so how we find the job okay uh, let me let me clarify that the first question is if it is related, uh, was, it, was it only related to data engineering? Is that correct? Okay. Uh, the issue is uh, for this uh, training, we are being trained in web three, uh, data engineering, and uh, machine learning as well. However, for the consideration of these tasks on this exercise, your submission should be based on data engineering. We are not saying at the end of the training you should be able to pick up jobs from the science engineering only, but this uh, exercise is just preparing you for how to search for job when you are done with the training. So we want you to just uh, we want you to have all our hunting uniform. So that's why we can choose data engineering for you. And perhaps data engineering seems to be the most common among all. However, you asked if what what it meant by no link to google.com we don't want you to go and look for to google jobs and we don't want you to also search for jobs on google that's why we recommended that you use some platforms such as linkedin direct as listed on the guidelines if you check the guidelines you see some recommendations of the, uh, of the job listing and job search applications we mentioned so what that statement basically means is that we don't want to and search for jobs on google as google jobs sometimes uh, pop up big jobs and advertised jobs, which are not real world jobs. Also, you made mention of uh, that job requiring that data engineering would require experience. That's actually correct. But if you've checked through the guidelines very well, you understand that we've mentioned and um, we've highlighted the ways of getting entry level position jobs and junior level jobs. Because we are most um, trainees. I just fresh graduate and just getting uh, just few experience. We don't have wide experience. We don't want you to go and look for job roles like five, five experience, five years experience, ten years experience, or mid level or professional level experience. We want you to go and look for junior engineers, data engineers, uh, entry level positions that require maybe just few few or no experience. So that you you can only. You can you can confidently uh, uh, exhibit your skills and you will succeed in the role. If any sample, I will not give you any sample, but if you go through the document quickly, uh, I think you, you won't be having any fault. If you have any further left questions, you can please ask. Johannes, are you there? Thank you for a nice explanation. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I will I will that answer the question. So for today's task, uh thank you Molly for shedding more light on how to become a peer mentor. So I hope we all understand what the task of hand is and Please, if you don't understand, um, just about that level, like, please see the five region of your hand. So you can take the questions before you go forward. So if you have any question or you need any clarity, you can just go ahead, even if it's on the other exercise. 
you can still ask your question. Okay. Smart, please speak. So, I'm Tina, you can just unmute yourself and go ahead, ask your question. Yes. Uh, hello. Hi. Hi. I have uh, two questions. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, the first one is about uh, the, the exercise about the three uh, reward jobs. Uh, so in the in the precise uh, explanation, uh, it states that we have the job has to be you should be ready to take the job by the fifteenth of November. So uh, should this uh, what does this mean? Does it mean that uh, the job has to I should be able to apply by the fifteenth of November? So the deadline is beyond that or is it um, should could it be a job that has a deadline before the 15th of november um, can you hear me yes i can hear you but i the last part i didn't get to hear you can you please come with me so i mean what does it mean uh, the 15th of november uh, when it comes to the deadline of application for jobs okay. should it be before or after or it doesn't matter if uh, what we suggest is if you can if you can be a mathematics correctly, you discover that from now to November is uh, basically like two months. Two months or like so what uh, we expected is that by then you should be true with your technical training and be preparing to get job job uh, to transition into the job phase. So why that's why we pick job that uh, as deadline at most November. About. So if you see a job uh, with application deadline or uh, with uh, resumption date in November, you can choose quickly. If you see a job who extend with deadline or resumption phase extends to December, you can please you can still take that. But what we basically mean is uh, you shouldn't apply for jobs that require you to resume before November. That's that will be simple explanation. Because while you're still having a training and you're already getting a job, that will divert your attention from the training as you are already working uh, towards, as you already get, you've already gotten a job. So that's why we, we, we advise that at most after sure. the technical thing, you can. Uh, okay, uh, I think I understand. Yes, I think I understand okay. this point. Thank you. Uh, the well, second question I have is about the peer mentor. Hmm? So, uh, just to understand the, the, the meaning of this exercise, uh, a peer mentor is someone who we are supposed to keep uh, a long term relationship with, someone who we can, like, it's not only, I don't know if I, I want to understand, like, the meaning of this. Uh, um, in a sense, that is, is it someone who it's not just uh, someone you get help uh, from uh, on a specific task, uh, just a temporary thing. Is it a uh, long term? I think this is what it means, but I just want to uh, like a confirmation. Is my question clear? Hello? Yes, I'm Tina. So, <laughs> yeah. So, for this exercise, um, we have paired you with someone else. Yes, yeah, I understand mm -hmm. that. Uh, I, I mean, yeah. just for general, we are supposed you. I understand that the exercise is supposed to teach us about doing this now and also in uh, in our future job. Uh, uh, if we get a job somewhere, also we have to maybe we can do this also there, right? <laughs> so uh, basically, um... yeah. Let me just uh, explain. For this exercise, you um, you're being paired with someone that is your peer, right? Yeah. And it can be for this training. But if you feel that together with your partner, are uh, feel that your relationship has become very successful in the mentorship, and you feel like you need to continue with it to elongate it then it's okay that is between you and your partner even after this training depending on your agreement 
because at the end of the day, peer mentoring is is just is ensuring that you guys are okay with um, with the with this training, or even if you are on a certain if you're in a school or if it's a job, you know. Yeah. But but for this particular exercise, you will you are being paired with someone and it will it is good for you to have someone to just keep tabs with for the entire training because I know how sometimes it can be things can just be aggressive, it can be very overwhelming. So it's good to have someone. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, okay. I understand when it comes to the exercise or mm -hmm. for this particular training. I was just, uh, maybe my question wasn't very clear. I was asking about what is this exercise supposed to teach us for our future career? Uh -huh. yeah. So, um, first of all, <laughs> when, you're, when you have someone that, when you're paired with someone, you meet someone that you've never met before, right? and yeah. you guys have expectations of each other and of course you guys are living in probably countries or regions that are different what does that mean that you will be that you'll need to be communicating right mm -hmm. so if first of all if you're not a good communicator with this exercise or this uh training with this mentorship you will be will become more of a person who can be able to just communicate effectively, you know, because um, with the with this training in uh, machine learning, web engineering, most of the jobs that you'll get are remote, you know, and with the remote jobs, it requires you to become someone who can be relied on. You need to be reliable, you know. You need to be someone. Who can be able to express themselves someone who can engage you know so with this exercise it comes with a lot of packs i don't know if you understand me now and tina yes i i think i understand you yes uh yeah thank you very much for clarifying this yes. yeah okay. okay yeah i think it's a great exercise to be honest thank you okay please okay. so Uh, Mohammed, I cannot hear you clearly. Sorry. Yeah, I can barely hear you too. Uh, is it clear right now? Yeah, it's better. So, um, my question is, uh, uh, do we we need uh, or should we we meet uh, a person every week? Uh, uh, is it clear that? I don't know to say it, but um, is that uh, in every week we, we we could be paired with, the, with someone so that we could uh, make uh, a mentor session, a mentor session, a be a bear mentor session. Uh, did you understand me? Um, sorry, just come again and please speak louder. So, um, my question is, um, uh, are we going to be paired with uh, a partner every week or, uh, we should go with our, our with our, uh, right, uh, partner for the rest of, uh, the training? Mm -hmm. So at the moment. I would just suggest that you stick to your partner. If in the near future you're required to maybe Hello.
Hi. Is it uh, from my side? Because uh, I couldn't hear the question. I couldn't hear the answer. Sorry, Mohammed, your speaker is very low. Is it from my side? Because I couldn't hear the, the answer. Okay, I think I think. Oh, okay, general, sorry. I think it's the connection. Okay, okay, so that's good. Okay, so I was saying, at the moment, um, we have just paired you with a peer partner. But in the future, if you are, if we require you to be partnered with someone else, then definitely we'll do that for probably an, another exercise. But at the moment, this is what you can uh, just work with. You can just work with that person at the moment. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Mohammed. Uh, Janet, you, you have the floor, you can speak. Okay, uh, thank you so much. Um, my question is, is our mentor is from part six or we should find um, the other places? Uh, I think gets my uh, mentor within the list. I'll try to find it. Sorry, come again. Is it is it our mentor or partners is uh, within that of Batch Six or from Ten Academy or adding it uh, the from the list the address? Is it clear? Okay, so there's a list that has been provided. Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, you, you can check his six. name. I try to check. I try to check his name uh, and I try to meet him, but I couldn't find. Maybe his name is. I don't know. Uh, check. Where did you try to check him in? Uh, on Slack. On oh. Slack. From from Batik Slack. This. Okay. So let me see, then I'll get back to you. Okay, 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 thank you so much. Okay. Uh, she is a and uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, sorry. Um, he was right in the chat. Okay, yeah, yeah, you, you spell it A. Hey, he's uh, he started from, his name is started by E, I, I saw him, uh, okay, sorry, it is spelled by A, that's why I couldn't find him. Okay, okay, so he's here. <laughs> he's uh, spelled and by E, the, e. the first uh, uh, spelling is E, <laughs> sorry, yeah, thank you. Okay, sorry, we'll just make the changes. Thanks for bringing that up, Gennett. That's good. Um, and Annette, you can just unmute yourself and go ahead. Yeah, I have uh, I've had the same problem uh, as Gennett, but uh, in the document, I am paired with ULCU. I mean, uh, UL uh, with the different last name, but on Slack, I find a person named ULCU and I reached I reached out to him actually if he is uh, paired with me and he hasn't responded yet but like is there a, uh, a typo or uh, it is a different person that I'm assigned to it's not ULCU. I see that you're assigned to AUL and yeah. AUL is here with us so let me just yeah. see if it's a typo. Uh, well, what I'll suggest is, uh, it seems uh, most people who have their last name omitted or not included. So what I'll suggest is, please, everyone should go through the list, and if your last name may be omitted or part of your name is not included, you can just reach out to me or more so we can include it, whether your partner or we are scheduled 
they, make, they find it very easy to reach out to you. I think that would be good. Would... So, why she's making some adjustment to the list? Uh, I, will, I would just like to know. Yeah, if you have any further questions, maybe regarding the reward of stacks or this current stacks, because uh, the submission is fast approaching. Submission for the reward job is tomorrow uh, by HPM UTC, and for this is on Saturday, HPM UTC. So you have just limit, limited time, and considering your technical assessment, you know, we need to. I understand it might very it might it might it might be very intense. So well you need to just keep doing your best and make the submission as as good as possible. So is any person having uh having issues with the first uh exercise? Okay, no response. Okay, so let's leave this with uh by where let's if 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 you don't have any issues with the past assignment, you can just raise up your hand. Just signify by raising your hand, please. Okay, just one person has signified or has raised up has raised their hand. Usman, Alexander, Janet, do you have any issues with the last assignment? Okay, okay, okay. Besides, you've not started. Oh, it seems most of them have not even started. Do you have anyone who, who started about has issues? Okay, okay. okay. Uh, no problem. So please do, do, do get started as the deadlines, fast approaching and deadlines will be uh, we look forward to your submission. However, regarding the peer mentoring uh, uh, path, please if you have further questions, suggestion or what or if you need clarity, please do reach out for us. Mori, do you have any other things to add? Um, nothing else. I just want to wish you well on the exercises that you're doing, both technical and non-technical, and just give out your best, give out your shot, your best shot. If you need clarity, feel free to reach out to me or Sadiq on Slack or just to anyone else who you feel like can assist you better on technical issues and just you guys are awesome thank you for showing up thank you thank you for showing up if you need if you if anybody wants to add a comment or just anything you can just speak up and meet yourself and speak up Seems, uh, it seems we don't have any case of it. Um, the session is due to, to end in the next maybe 10 minutes. Uh, maybe uh, for that 10 minutes, Molly, can you please just give them a, a brief overview of what to do? Sorry? I said the session is supposed to end in maybe the next 10 minutes. So while we're here, you can, can you just give them a brief overview of what the tax as ants is like maybe you just come again on the what we pass or what they're supposed to do one more time. Okay, so let me just share my screen. I'm raising my hand. <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh Tibarek, Tibarek, you want to speak? Please unmute yourself and speak. Uh, 
Okay. 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 So what the exercise basically uh, wants you to do is since you have been paired with you've been paired with your pair using this type of touch to this PDF uh, to this uh, presentation, and at the end of uh, of this session, this uh, uh, presentation slides will be shared with you, so you can just further go through it and the tutorial guidelines to have a proper understanding of what is expected of you. Okay, you can also prepare a few questions that you will ask them during the session. Reach out to your partner and agree to meet up maybe at your convenience, not necessarily during the Good Chain Academy uh, framework time. Then schedule a meet, a Google meet, preferably, uh, but within the 12th, you can just uh, decide where you want to meet and ensure that you record the experience uh, as you will try to be a report that is not less than one page or not longer than two pages of requirements and guidelines follow that is important and found here. Okay. And um, the submission should please be on PDF format as in the past we've experienced that someone might have a very good submission and uh we just submit these are documents on what format. So we advise you to please submit a PDF and we look forward to receiving your submission. Thank you for attending this good session. If you have any further queries, please do not hesitate to reach out to me or Morgan on Slack. Uh, okay, sure, sure, sure. We'll, we'll share this slide after this session. And today, we received a few questions, which I will, uh, I will I think it's just that you all have very good understanding of what the tax of hand is. So, Maureen, any other addition before we close the session? Um, so, we'll just, we are going to share these slides on the careers exercise. And if you feel like, um, if you can't find your partner on Slack, just let us know. So maybe there is uh, there's something wrong with the spelling. Okay. We will uh, find a way. I can see the share. You want to speak? Apologies if I'm not pronouncing your name very well. And then I'll move to seven. Fisera or. Okay. Yeah, guys, uh, I, sorry, that was raised for the question which you asked previously. If anybody okay. understands these tasks, I have no question. Okay, okay, that's great. Please, please your where are you speaking from? I am speaking from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. It's the capital okay. of uh, okay. Ethiopia. That's great. Yeah. Okay, yeah. do we have anyone with the name AUL in this meeting? Okay, Mike, uh, that's good. It's, it's good to see that you start talking to your partner. And I wish, uh, I look forward to having this, uh, your submission. Please be reminded why you're picking a technical session. Be, please be reminded that uh, your assignments are due tomorrow and start to be respected. Okay, so if you guys are all good, then we can call it a session and have a good day. You take care of yourself. I wish you a, a fruitful and productive day. I am. Cheers.